Hey guys, GK here and in this video I'm going to explain you how I got this amazing cup from Google. So basically I have uh, taken this exam in last Feb 2019, uh, the Associate Cloud Engineer certification exam and I'm here to help you out guys to get this amazing cup for yourself and get a Google certification. Uh, the first step is go through the website of uh, the Associate Cloud Engineer exam and look for all the contents of the exam so the reason why i'm saying this is you do not want to um, you know get started with the console and you just don't want to practice everything the aim of um, us is to get certification first and as well as learning the stuff that are required for the exam um, so get the outline of the exam you know in excel sheet or in google sheet so what i did was i have put all the contents in the google sheet all the topics and everything from the outline of, of, the, of the exam and then I have marked things that I have done before the exam th things that I have practiced before the exam so that is one way of doing it and, and so that you know you can you can know what are your weak areas and then you can practice them before the exam I can also share with you my contents that I have put in the Google Sheets step number two is training right um, how would you get training so there are good courses and the one that is listed in the website is from Coursera, uh, which I have done as well. So I started going through the Coursera content and I also did um, the training from A Cloud Guru. Um, thanks to my company, I have a free registration there. Um, it's, so it's all optional. I mean, you can either go with that or this, or you can do both if you can afford. So I have done both. And Matthias Anderson, I must tell from A Cloud Guru is amazing. Uh, the way he has taught, uh, the way he has shown the flow of how you can connect between two different services or three or four different services so that would help really in the exam to eliminate some of the bad answers and to get the correct answer or rather wrong answers and to get the right to get the right answer so that was one important tip from matthias um, so he he is a fantastic guy i would suggest you all uh, to follow his video if possible if you want to if you have to pick one i would pick a cloud guru and then um, matthias is an absolute gem. I was in constant touch with him. And if you go through A Cloud Guru, you'll also see some of the questions and answers that I have put uh, while practicing. So after every um, content, he gives you a challenge that you can take and then you can prepare and, and you can submit your answer in the website so that others can follow it and, and then it will be helpful for them too. So, so that's for the training. Um, and you can practice either through Quick Labs or by getting your personal account. So what I personally suggest is to get a personal account because Google gives you a $300 credit, uh, more than enough for, for the exam. And so you have the A Cloud Guru website with you, you can go through the videos and, and you can as well practice at the same time in the evening. So I, I have uh, AWS certifications, but Google is something, something Google was something new for me and I, all, I wanted to get into a different cloud call myself a multi-cloud guy so since it was new um, I had to practice more from from the from the website from the console so I got $300 credit and then I, I created pretty much like three I created pretty much like three accounts um, so that you know I can use some as the billing account some for something else which will be useful for you so um, one number one is exam outline number two is training pick one of them one of your favorite or if you can do both it'll be good you can do both and third is start practicing practice 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 so what i would suggest you all is practice every service in the web, in the console so one good thing about the way google has laid out the console is that in every service they have given you free to free tutorial that you can um, select the tutorial, you know, um, practice those things and you will get the knack of like what exactly the service is. So that is, that is important. And, you know, so th that's for the training um, and, and, and then practice part. So thing which I have done, which I think might be useful for you, I don't know if it would, it would be helpful, but I have taken the assessment exam. So there is a free assessment exam in the Associate Cloud Engineer website of Google. Um, it's just like they have 20 questions I think. The reason why I have done that is because I have prior experience in AWS 
and so I thought you know I'll see how it is different from AWS and based on my generic understanding of cloud and knowledge of cloud you know I thought I would crack it but I myself felt uh, there are certain things that were difficult because the networking concepts of Google are different from um, AWS and Google have according to me has a better network model than AWS so um, that's one thing um, and, and then they have a lot of questions on the G cloud so since I do not know G cloud commands and, and since I haven't practiced I got very less marks in the readiness test um, which I did before even starting before even uh, going through the cloud guru videos or Coursera videos so after I have done that, um, I have started the training and I have done the whole thing. I've spent a lot of hours during the weekends to practice. I've created even a WhatsApp group among my my friends to share with them what I've learned and then they kept asking some of the questions. So that was very helpful as well. So after, after that I've done, um, I have taken the exam. So during the exam date, um, I must tell you I was a little nervous. Um, because there are not many questions that are there in the internet to practice uh, like what you what you might get in the exam so it's always like surprising uh, to see uh, some tough questions and and thankfully since i practiced a lot it was easy for me to navigate through the wrong answers and, and remove them and, and choose the right answer so that that way i have passed the exam i got around so they do not say the percentage of the exam so that's one important thing when when if you have written aws you would not know what percentage you got so you, I do not know what is the pass percentage but what you would know by end of the exam is whether you have passed or failed and you would receive the results after one week so you would not immediately get an email like you used to get in AWS so that that's uh, a bit different now coming to the what coming to like if you have this in my mind in your mind you know what are the important questions that you got in the exam I cannot tell you the ex question and answers because I have signed up with Google that I'm not supposed to reveal all the questions and answers though I have something in my mind um, but what I can tell you is that some areas that are very important for the exam so most of the areas that you have to the areas that you have to focus more are the gcloud commands you have to practice all the gcloud commands especially the configuration related uh, questions and practice a lot about VPC some of Kubernetes and some questions on app engine so similarly, there were other questions as well, many on load balancing and auto scaling, which are a good concepts and they are similar to AWS as well. So that was easy for me to uh, get through them. But all in all, it was a very good exam. All right, guys. So now I'm going to show you the things that we have discussed in detail. So as you remember, uh, the first step is to um, check the exam guide. You know, if you search for associate cloud engineer in Google, you will get this page. I'll also copy this page and other links in the description when you go to this page you look at the exam guide right so you it it has things that they are expecting from you to learn to pass the exam right? so these are all the things that they have clearly mentioned here you know um so our aim should be to learn each one of these right practice them with both console as well as G Cloud, and then create a Google spreadsheet. Like I've said, you know, we are you going to we are going to create Google spreadsheet of all these things and practice and mark them once you have completed. So that's the first step. So um, I also recommend you to go through this page. Uh, this is written by Satish Vijay, and he has created fantastic notes. Um, when he passed associate cloud engineer exam which I have made a copy of that in my Google Drive if you look at these notes you know this is based on the whole exam guidelines right? so it has all the exam topics and you know um, he has created direct links for each topic so that you can go to that link and practice and prepare you know this is like a guide that will be useful before uh, writing the exam it's like summary of all the things that you have read so far as you can see uh, it has all the things and i'll also give uh, uh, this link in the description of the video so you will know, uh, know what satish pj has written for them i also did write some notes in the in my notebook uh, which i cannot share obviously old school way of doing things 
and i also have some guides which i have written in the google sheets so basically this is for you know like either you could use the google docs um google docs is more for notes and this is more for tracking i use this you know uh, i use this for exam to check how many of these things i have completed how many of these things i have to study and and which one of these are difficult for me just revise before the exam so that is you know pretty much number 1 we have gone through the exam guide and we have prepared the notes out of it and we know what to study now second part of it is training so like i've said either you can go with uh, the coursera coursera also has a free trial of one month i think if you are okay with that to after that one month you might have to pay 40 dollars or 35 dollars per month which i did um, like i've said but it's optional completely optional either you can go with this or you know you can you can go with matthias anderson's a cloud guru which is sufficient enough um you might have to study come some of the kubernetes stuff or app engine stuff outside but that should be su sufficient to pass the exam and coming to the hands on practice either you can do it in quick labs quick labs is another paid version of uh, google where you can get a console experience of you know they create Google accounts for you, and then you can practice pretty much whatever that's there in that um, topic. So, Quick Labs is Quick Labs has a associate cloud engineer topic topics page as well, so you can directly practice from. There. Or if you do not want to spend any money, like I've said, you know Google um, Cloud free trial gives you three hundred dollar credit. This should be uh, more than enough for you to just. You know, practice and be enough even for one year if you don't do much the console unless you're doing a lot of stuff compute or you know you're exhausting your hundred dollar credit but that should be more than enough for the exam and then um practice exam so this is the step that google recommends you to do at the fourth um step but what i've done is i have done this pretty much at the start um that's because like i've said you know i have some prior cloud experience i would like to just test my knowledge with google the similarities between google and aws so i have done this it's up to you um you know if if that will dent your confidence don't do that if it helps you to prepare well for the exam do that but that's my approach would always take the exam um practice exam and then see the topics that they are covering in the practice exam i also add those to my google spreadsheet before i, I take the exam i would do this first once um you will get very less marks you will fail of course but um, you can do this before, after you prepared, you will also do this before writing the actual exam. That way you're going to do twice this one. Um, and, and then additional resources, these are completely optional. Um, Kubernetes is itself is a vast topic, but if you want to prepare, you can prepare on that as well uh, from a cloud guru, or you can practice um, from, from the Google console that's how i prepared guys and then finally you would schedule the exam you will schedule something nearest to your location write the exam i hope you will all will pass and please feel free to comment in the video down below and then you know let's share and i would i'll always love to answer your questions if you have anything related to the exam and thank you so much guys again uh, thanks for watching this video uh, please subscribe if you like this video or comment